Hey there, everybody. So today we're going to talk about one of our ongoing projects, the Solstice Project. And specifically, we're going to talk about bringing the DJI Avada to the site over this past weekend to get some interior flights of a couple of the model homes. So we had actually flown most of our flights on Friday for our clients, but we did not do the Avada flight because there was a fair amount of construction activity still going on. We didn't want to interfere with anyone or have the drone buzzing around in these home interiors while workers were on site. Now, so we went back to the job site a couple days after our initial visit. And of course, there was uh, higher winds going on and that really affected the Avada. And it was kind of interesting. So I wanted to share that with you guys here today. And I'm just going to, let's see right here. We're going to pull this up and let's change the view. So I just changed the view so that you can see more of the video and put myself down in the lower corner. Right now, you see that we've got the Avada a little tilted. So we are on the location. Winds were up to 20 miles an hour and actually winds even got worse as we went inside the building because it created some, uh, you know, wind tunnel effects. But let's go ahead and hit this real quick. So what you're watching right now is the video recorded in the goggles. If you're new to the Avada FPV drone, let me tell you. So number one, the goggles actually can record video. Also, the drone records video. So we have a micro SD card in the goggles and we have a micro SD card in the drone. The goggles are just giving you everything, whatever it looks like. When you're recording to the drone, you can have something called Horizon Steady or Rock Steady, and that helps to stabilize the final video. But right now, this video is not looking really stable at all. It's tilted to one side, it's bouncing around, and that's just from the winds, um, you know, outside coming into it. And let me see here. I'm just going, I'm pulling ahead a little bit. And let's just play this from here. And you're going to see, you know, this is a very unstable look. It's not an appealing look. This is not something that goes on the client's website. But with the stabilization, with the horizon, uh, the horizon study that we use in this particular one, it really cleaned things up a lot. And I'm going to show you that momentarily as well. So when we come back from a job site like this using the Avada, we've got two cards to offload. We've got to offload the goggles and we've got to offload the drone. And of course, the micro SD cards uh, slot on the drone is mind-numbingly difficult to actually open up and close because it's right up against the props as well. See all this bouncing that's going on here? Let's go ahead and let's fix that. So I made an extra video for you guys this morning and let's actually, we'll go ahead and minimize the QuickTime player and let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this is for the Horizon Steady. I'm gonna drag this all the way out here for you and Let's make sure we minimize other things in the background so we're just seeing this. So let's set this up. On the left-hand side, this is the goggles view. On the right-hand side, this is the drone stabilized view. So on the left-hand side, you can tell that it's um, the goggles because we've got some readouts down here, 4.1 feet above the ground, and distance, the drone is 29 feet away from the operator, and its height is 6'2 right now. Um, I don't think that's correct. But let's go ahead and play and let me move my mouse out of the way. Once again, left-hand side, unstabilized from the goggles. You can see it bouncing around pretty, uh, pretty well. Right-hand side is the stabilized version. By the way, I used Final Cut Pro to lay these things out so that you could see them together. Look at that jitter on the left hand side so we've got a lot of wind coming through this site we already had wind out there but we're we're getting kind of this wind tunnel feel going on in here and the wind is going from east to west so it really knocked the drone around a good bit and for the drone operator you know you're seeing what the goggle sees that bouncing and moving around when when we take that final version of the video that horizon steady um had been recording on we see on the right hand side how much smoother and calmer this is. So when you're doing interiors, a lot of people are using uh, drones for doing interiors of finished homes, but for our projects, for our clients, we're also gonna be doing some flights through their model homes as well. So while it's still under construction, you gotta watch out for those windy days, but I'd say overall, you can definitely see the difference between the goggle view, which is totally uncorrected, 
and the uh, Horizon Steady. I keep wanting to say Rock Steady because it sounds cooler. And Rock Steady is the other stabilization that is available in Nevada as well. So you've got Horizon Steady and you've got Rock Steady. What I have found in windier environments when the drone is moving around is that the Rock Steady will keep it steady, but maybe it keeps it steady tilted this way, or maybe it keeps it steady tilted this way. And that's not what I want to deal with. So what we've been finding is that we're using the Horizon Steady more, especially when we're doing interiors. And then the rock steady is fun for when you're zipping around outside in places like the Granite Dells. So now all of this stuff is coming together. Let me pull up um, my uh, browser here. So all of this stuff is coming together for our Solstice project. So we've done our eighth flight overall for the Solstice project. Things are coming together very well. And if you haven't seen the project before, please feel free to stop by seemybuilt.com and you can see samples of the types of deliverables we give to our clients. And by the way, if you like these samples, I've heard from folks and they said, hey, I, I would like to do these types of deliverable web pages as well. If you pop over to classes.azdrone.net and you look under all the products there, scrolling down, um, make money with your drone. We've got a series of job sites that we've been working and I'll click on that for you. So it actually features several of the job sites we've been working. High Lonesome, the Ironstone Project, Sky Ranch, Dan Tanks, Clark Wayland, Winfield Project, and the Solstice Project that you just saw a glimpse of. In addition to that, if you're looking to do the deliverables like we're doing, under our custom drone deliverable web pages, you can actually check these out. And by the way, we do have free previews on all of those. So there's the shameless plug right there. But now let's get back over to the Solstice project. So as this project is uh, moving forward rapidly, very rapidly, they're already building out four units. In total, they're supposed to be 53 units. We're going to continue documenting this site. And the DJI Avada is going to be a part of that especially for doing the interiors of these structures and hopefully on days that are less windy. So I wanted to share that with you guys and show you, uh, rather than tell you, show you what the goggle view looks like versus what one of these stabilized views work. And in addition to that, there are also other uh, applications out there to help stabilize your video. So one of them is called Gyroflow, but there are several out there that will help you stabilize your drone video, especially coming from little copters like the FPV copters, like the DJI Avada. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We also have the new thanks button below. And if you didn't know already, we do have a Patreon channel where we do a regular weekend updates with our patrons on a Zoom meeting. And the link to our Patreon channel is down below as well. And by the way, those two classes I showed you do have 20% off coupons. So just give that a read down below as well if you're interested in any of them. And as always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. And I'll look forward to seeing y'all in the very near future.